Weather-wise, again, Duke Energy crews have been very busy tonight. Strong winds have knocked out power to hundreds of homes and businesses this evening. That's the perfect formula, obviously, with the wet ground and the wind at the same time, knocking things down from Cincinnati to Anderson Township. Our Daisy Kershaw has been all over town talking with neighbors being impacted by tonight's nasty weather. Daisy. Well, Mike and Shuri, I'm here in Anderson Township, where at one point more than 400 people were left in the dark. Now, as you can see here, luckily that rain has died down substantially, but unfortunately for many of the folks here, they cannot expect to see their power back on for at least another hour. We started the night in a neighborhood near the University of Cincinnati, where more than 300 homes and businesses lost power. One neighbor telling us a telephone pole on their street caught fire, leaving them in the dark. We lost power. A little after 3 p.m., I noticed a bright, sh uh, bright shower of sparks and a, and a noise. That happened again a few seconds later, then all the power went out. Luckily, firefighters were on the scene and quickly put out the flames. But hours later, other neighbors we talked with say they were still without power. With the electricity controlling the heat, I was a little bit nervous how long this would take to get fixed. In Anderson Township, this tree took down a power line, causing more power problems. I was doing my homework and then we heard a loud thud and then the lights flickered and then the power went out. Crews were able to clear the tree from Salem Road, but with all the rain today, folks here are hoping their water pumps don't let them down. I was talking to our neighbors across the street and they were like, what just happened? <laughs> and they, they were actually worried about the sump because we've got a fair amount of water coming down and they were concerned because they don't have a battery backup on it. So they were like, oh, we're a little worried we're going to find a flooded basement tonight. For folks here in Anderson Township, unfortunately, they likely won't see their power come back on until after midnight. But of course, we will continue to track this. We know that right now there are at least 50 homes and businesses that are still without power. Reporting live, Daisy Kershaw, WLWT News 5.